Hey, City Harvest, how you guys doing? You've probably noticed Corey is not here tonight. He is currently suffering for the kingdom of God uh, in the Bahamas. He's down there working with one of uh, sister churches of Harvest in West Olive, doing some training, helping them out. So we can be keeping him in our prayers as he travels back. But my name is Brad. Um, I've been down here to serve with him a few times before. Uh, when Corey called, I instantly said yes. I love coming to worship with you guys. I love the services here and the opportunity to praise God together. So would you stand to your feet? And let me just pray for us as we start our service. Heavenly Father, um, we, we come to you tonight knowing that we are broken. We come before you knowing that we have sinned. But God, we rejoice in the fact that you sent your son to die for us. You sent your son to make a way that we could be with you. And so I pray as we sing tonight, as we hear your word, that the gospel would be fresh for us. For those who may be hearing it for the first time, that it would resonate with them. For those that are hearing it for the hundredth time, that it would still move us to worship. Because of who you are and all that you've done, we give you praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray these things. Amen. Psalm 100 says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We come before a holy God tonight because of the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Because of that cross, he is worthy and deserving of all that we have. So let's bring an offering of praise tonight. Whatever that may be, whatever it looks like, let's bring it to our Savior, to our God. Praise him for all that he is. Come on. Our praise awaits you with the dawn. Our souls awake to you and lift a song. We've seen the things that you have done, and still we know the best is yet to come. There's more to come. Amen. Open the gates of man.
Lord, come and have your way. May each one of us willingly bow and surrender to our God, the Lion of Judah and the Lamb that was slain. Sing this out in faith. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? 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 Romans 8 says this. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No, as it is written, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither things present or things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. That is his promise. That is what he has said he will do. So let's sing this out in faith together, declaring, who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? Not death, no power. No people who can stop the Lord Almighty. There is nothing who can stop the Lord. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow before Him. Our God is For the sins of the world, his blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee will bow before him. Amen. 
You guys can go ahead and have a seat. Well, as we've said before, welcome. We're glad that you're here. I, I always love the opportunities to come to worship with you all here at City Harvest. And uh, as we just sang, who can stop the Lord Almighty? And I know that for a lot of us, we can walk in here singing that because we have seen it to be true. Whether it's God has delivered you out of a valley that you've been in, out of some sin that you've been trying to break, whether he has brought a family member or a loved one to salvation through your prayers, whatever prayer he has answered, it's easy to sing sometimes, who can stop the Lord when we know that it is true that our God is not stoppable. But for many of us here, we walk in carrying burdens where we have to sing, who can stop the Lord Almighty as an act of faith, believing it to be true and hoping for that day when he will show it to be true in our lives. Even just before the service, uh, we were standing back there with the team praying and we were sharing some heavy, heavy things that are going on in the lives of, of all of us. Now, as Christians, we are not promised that we will not have trials, but we are promised that we serve a God who has overcome those trials. And in times when I'm facing those difficulties, I think to Psalm 34. And David wrote this psalm. I want to paint a picture for you. He was living in the land of the Philistines who were the enemies of the nation of Israel. These are people that wanted to kill him that wanted to take him out. And he wrote these words. He penned them, living in the midst of his enemies. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. So let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. For I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his troubles. For the army of the Lord and the army of the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear God have no lack. The young lion suffers want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongues from evil your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ear is toward their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. For when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. He saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. But the Lord redeems the life of his servant. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. So if you're here tonight and you're facing that trial, you're facing that valley, May that be an encouragement to you that regardless of where we are, we serve a God who is good, a God who loves us, and a God who has not and never will fail. Would you guys stand as we continue singing together? Wherever you're at, whether singing in victory or in faith, sing this out. I count on one thing The same God that never fails Will not fail me now You won't fail me now In the waiting The same God who's never late Is working all things out You 
working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy. again, declaring this truth, the God who never fails, I count on one thing, the same God that never fails will not fail me now, you won't fail me now in the waiting, the same God that's never late is working all the things. Working all things out. So, yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy. you are, whatever you're facing, just know this. God's worthiness, his deserving of our praise does not change based on our circumstances. So if you're here tonight, standing on the mountaintop, looking at what he has done, or whether you are in the valley crying out, you can choose to worship. And when we choose to worship, it lifts our eyes away from our trials and places them on the one who can save us. Worship is our warfare against this fallen world. It's the best thing that we can do. So let's sing that bridge together one more time, <clears throat> declaring our choice to worship, to praise the one, the name above every name. Let's sing this out. I choose to praise, to glorify, glorify the name of all names. Nothing can stand against. I choose to praise, to glorify, glorify the name of all names. That nothing can stand against. Amen. I choose to praise, to glorify the name above all names. Let's praise Him. 
You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Sing this out. All the earth. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Sing. Great. 